Okay, hey guys, Laura J here working out at the YMCA. How exciting that I even go to a gym that matches the tagline. Today, right before this, I had a dental cleaning appointment and then I went to the mall nearby, which was right next to my old gym. And I did some shopping and then I wasn't really in the mood to come to this gym because it wasn't in my routine yet. It wasn't a habit to come here. It was like I was already next to my gym and I didn't go in because I don't have a membership there anymore. And so I'm just gonna go home and I'll start this membership tomorrow. Well, had I done that, I wouldn't have met some of the guys in the sauna that I went into right before this. And one of them asked a question about a young 21, 22 year old uh, nephew that basically is super depressed because he's isolated himself and his mom even brings food into the bedroom because he won't come out and get it for himself. And he asked me what my advice would be to him to help break his beloved out of that state of depression. And I said, stop bringing food to the bedroom because even if you order Uber Eats, you should have to get off the couch to at least answer the door. But if you've got somebody enabling you, then you really don't have to leave the couch or the bedroom or the bed. You just sit and wallow in your own sameness. And that's what's really depressing. We are creatures of comfort, but also crave variety. So if we don't create an experience, that has variability in it, then we're doomed to repeat this cycle that is absolutely depressing. So if you're a parent, I would say, or anybody else who parents themselves, which we all do, and those are really the parents I'm speaking to as someone who has never actually born children of my own. Be like the eagle mother that pushes her babies out of the nest when she knows that they're capable and watch their wings spread and then take their first flight because of the ones she pushes out, 90% live and the other 10% do die. But 100% of the ones she leaves behind die because she never comes back for them after she's nudged them to the edge. And sometimes when that happens, when we go overboard, people say, I don't know how to deal with that. I don't know how to help you make the good side of the fight win. And so that's what I had to learn. And I did it in a crazy house, a psych ward, a mental health institution, a mental institution, an insane in asylum where people have hysteria because previously hysteria was associated with hysterectomy, which is what they did to the ones who just were overwhelmed with emotions and after years of suppressing it, they finally let it out. So all of this is my message for today. Get off the couch and get over fat rat syndrome, which I believe is what you have if what I described describes you. So the next video I post will be about fat rat syndrome. And I look forward to seeing your feedback about both that video and this one, please comment below and let me know what this message means to you and for you because of what you're gonna do now that you know what you know from this message. Let's go with the flow, my friends. Lord J, namaste. The light in me honors, the light in you. Ciao.